the Sparkle Squad, this is Monica, and this month I have something new from my friends at Jesse James Beads, and it's called a Jesse James Secret Stash Box. Now, this is for the month of May, and this is my birth month. Ah, and actually, today is my birthday, so that's why I decided I would open this, being that it's my first ever Jesse James Stash Box, and it's my special sparkly day. So, thank you, Jesse James. Now, this is different from what I have been showing you in the past each month because this box right here, you can go straight to the Jesse James Beads website and look for the Jesse James Secret Stash Box. It makes you feel like you're talking about a secret, doesn't it? Should I whisper? <laughs> Put in the Secret Stash Box in their search term and you will be able to get your very own box. And it feels like it's full, plumb full of good stuff. The Jesse James Beads Secret Stash Box contains 10 amazingly beautiful items from Jesse James Beads for just $49, a $100 value, and each box is unique. So they curate each box individually to choose colors and pieces that will go together. And the secret stash boxes include items like their Jesse James Beads mixes and the strands. I love their strands of beads. And some super special things that might be from the vault, pendants, get in on the secret. Here's the stash. We're gonna open this together, guys, and I'm so this is my first one that I have ever received, and I'm, I'm thrilled about it. Oh, I feel like there needs to be, like, sparkles exploding from my box. If I can figure out how to do that in my editing, girl, you know I'm gonna. And thank you so much, Miss Emily, for packing my box. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, this thing is plumb full. Look at that. It's plumb to the top of that box. Look at all this crinkly paper that was in the bottom of that box. I just felt, you know, I'm so glad that I opened this on my birthday. So thank you again, Jesse James Beads. You just made my birthday. First, we're gonna talk about how many things are in this box and it was packed full to the brim here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And these are beautiful, high quality goodies. And I have not, you know, I think other than the cha-cha tassels, I have not seen any of these before. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is this beautiful pendant. Look at that. It's such a beautiful copper color. And you know what this reminds me of, ladies? My Stargazer Lily. <laughs> and I've got a plumeria over here on this finger. But that's what it reminds me of. So I love that. Look how detailed that is, on, even on the back. It's got those markings on the back of the petals. That's a substantial loop back here, so you could put this on a really chunky necklace. Then next, I wanna show you this beautiful strand. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is almost too much to even discuss right here. Look at that. Look at all that sparkle. Now this is a classic strand. This is a beautiful mix of like a champagne taupe and gold with a little bit of this smoky look almost like a smoky quartz type of look in the check glass that's mixed in here i just love that see this beaded bead right here look at that i mean look at that it just sparkles every which way i look at it you can't go wrong with this you could just put that on your bead string and wire and be done with it right there i love it or you could do it as a necklace closest to me is called the seven year itch and this is a lot of milky white some translucent, some clear, some white. Looks like those are like little leather or suede tassels there. Threaded tassels mixed in there. Beautiful silver components. Now I do prefer silver as to gold, so that is awesome here because I typically don't get like the little cage beads. That looks like it's a pendant there and a lot of little silver components mixed in there. Those tassels are so cute. I really love that, and it's got a little bit of silver, uh, like silver spacer balls and stuff in there. Now, these are those cha-cha tassels. Now, you've seen me talk about these before, and uh, I still have yet to do it, but I need to make, I had a project idea that I was going to do with these because it just struck me as so funny and fabulous, but look at these. Aren't these cute? They're so fun, and it just to me, it looks like a little skirt. Now, you could do this a myriad of different ways as earrings, necklaces, charms, whatever you want to do. I just love the look of those. They're just so frilly and girly. Here is Paradise Parrots on, I think that might be like leather or it might be a vinyl. And the design is on both sides. This is super cute. I love this. All right, now we've got Joyful Gatherings. And, woo, this is beautiful. It's got some rose gold in there with some pink. 
and some gold accents, a lot of rhinestones. Ooh, I love that. A lot of sparkle. <gasps> Look, there's a heart shaped little bead. And all this is Czech glass, by the way. Oh, there's a, looks like a pear shaped. Ooh, there's two hearts. Oh, I'm so excited. There's some opaque beads in there. Ah, three hearts. I think there might be several hearts in here, y'all. Do you see how excited I get? Some little glass pearls. I love these with the rhinestones and the rose bead. Those rose beads are amazing. And they do actually sell those separately, so check that out. So this Joyful Gatherings is gonna be a lot of fun, too. Now we got the large beads in cream. Oh, snap, crackle, and pop. I want you to look. This is a heart right here. Look at that. And it is so beautiful. <gasps> There's some mother of pearl. Oh, I'm in love. <laughs> I love this. There's some little fuzzy charms here. Some pearlescent, uh, intricately carved looking type beads. Oh, I thought that was a heart. It looks like a heart from this way here. But when you go and you look on the other side of it, it kind of looks like a little stone nugget or something. But I prefer to look at it from this way because I thought that was a heart. There's some faceted squares here. I love these. These, uh, they're a pretty big size. It looks maybe like a 14 millimeter size bead with mother of pearl and it's probably like a resin mix. I just love this. This is awesome. And then look at these beautiful beads right here. Man, that's going to be awesome to play with. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Love that. Love that. Oh, my gosh. That is so beautiful. The large beads in cream. Now, we've got a mini mix here in Scooby Snacks. <laughs> But this looks like some toggle clasps. There is a, maybe a barrel clasp that has a dual strand thing going on there. This is a rose theme. Then we've got antique brass over here. This is a coppery rope toggle that looks like. So you got different colors in order to finish off some of your jewelry in a themed kind of a clasp. I love that. So it looks like I got one, two, three toggles and maybe one double strand barrel clasp. Awesome. Desert Rose. I can totally see that going with my cha-chas. So this is um, sort of like the seven year itch here with those tassels. Those are really pretty. They're either a leather or a suede type of tassel. Then you've got all of these coppery findings and components in here. There's a floral, a lot of intricate designs layered on that metal. These are little tiny coral, creamy coral beads right here. I don't know if you can tell that, but they have some sort of rose design, it looks like. Wow, love that. Then there's tiny little tassels here in the fabric, like tiny little baby cha-chas in a way, not really cha-chas, but, oh, uh, you can see a little bit better on this side, maybe. That's pretty, that's a big, huge spacer bead, I think. There's several of those. And then you have another little baggie attached and it's got, looks like it's got some clay beads in there with some check glass. <gasps> Ooh, there's lava, some lava beads in there. Some little bumpy beads. My goodness gracious, these are very earthy looking. I love that. Some orangish bumpy beads mixed in with some of these rose colors. There is a, looks like an acrylic bead here with some sparkle to it. Maybe some wood beads in there mixed in. Wow, that, that's beautiful. A lot of check glass, some wood. Oh, I love it. And finally, we have a half millimeter round coconut leather cord. 0201 half millimeter round. But this is genuine leather, and it's two meters of it. Lead free and AZO free and chromium free. That's another thing I love about getting these types of mixes from different companies is because you learn so much. If I only bought everything that I'm used to working with and, you know, maybe somebody asked me for the same thing over and over and over again, I'm not really going outside my box, so to speak, my comfort zone. And I really enjoy these types of things because it inspires me to create so many different unusual designs or unusual for me. It gets my creative juices flowing and I learn more about my craft that way. So I really love that kind of stuff. I just, you know, I enjoy trying to pick up knowledge as I also get to play with sparkles. Jesse James, you have cha-chawed all the way to my heart. There's so many different things that I love about this mix. And the cool thing is it all came together in a coordinated effort so that you've got tons of supplies just right here in front of you 
And on top of not really having to get anything from your own stash, not unless you just want to, it is something that you can be inspired to create with, you know, like maybe make this entire collection. And keep in mind too, again, with the Jesse James Secret Stash Boxes, these are all individually curated so that they all go in the same box. All of these 10 items are coordinated down to the fact that we've even got some cording and some clasps here. Thank you so much, Jesse James. I really do. I love this company. Of course, y'all hear, hear me talk about them all the time, but they really are amazing. And the thing that I love so much about them is not only are they trendy in a lot of the things that they offer, but they really care about putting things together for people who love jewelry making, such as myself. And I always feel like no matter what I'm purchasing on their website, I'm getting my money's worth because they have already pre-selected a lot of these items in order to even make their, their strands, their bead strands. And as you well know, I'm a great collector of the Jesse James bead strands. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? Look at that. I mean, look, that's just like a smiley, a sparkly smiley face right there, isn't it? Again, this is the Jesse James Secret Stash Box. You can find this on their website. I'll have a link below to that. That will be my affiliate link because I am an ambassador with the company, aside from being a super sparkly fan of them. And I do want y'all to, to be aware of that, but you can click the affiliate link below. It takes you right to their website and just check out all of their different types of things that they offer, as well as if you're interested specifically in this Jesse James Beads secret stash box. We're going to tell a secret. Shh. A sparkly secret, y'all. They make this so much fun because it really, now today literally is my birthday. So, I mean, I am a little ramped up, but it's like every month is your birthday or every month is a, an occasion, a sparkly occasion. Sometimes that's good, y'all. Sometimes that's good. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And share this with any of your friends that might be interested in jewelry making supplies. And thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate everyone who comments and visits my channel because you know it's the YouTube algorithm, the all-important AI around here on YouTube land. Have a sparkle day, y'all. Bye!